in conversation, in conversation. with Rudy Samuel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It sounds like something on CNN. No. Conversation <laughs> with Rudy Samuel. <laughs> University, I started a production company with some friends um, because I'd been acting since I was five and I'm talking like like crash yeah, productions church, stuff, church productions yeah, yeah, yeah. which by the way is the biggest thing like if you can serve at church if you can help out at church or in your community in whichever way God honors those little beginnings yeah, you know what I'm saying and I was doing that for fun I wasn't doing it to get paid or anything I was doing it for fun um, so yeah I started my company with some friends um, we started working with with big corporates um, DSTV mm -hmm. we started working with uh, a group called Kenok which brings artists international artists so we started doing a lot of productions we even worked with UJ because I was determined on getting my school fees back yeah. I was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying Clever. I was determined on getting my school fees back <laughs> so yeah. we worked with them um, yeah so you know uh, by the time so that to the point where that was also the time when I started modeling and started doing ads so you and started all that. hustling you started yeah I started doing pushing because yeah. I also felt so here's the, the thing that you asked me about Kongli's parents so Kongli's parents Parents in general want their kids to be secure want the and best a for bright, their kids. yeah, bright future. They want the best for their kids, and what they understand as the best is a concrete, stable, you know, income. Nine to five, yeah, every and month you yeah, get this, and you're yeah. supposed to survive with that until the next month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you get that from, like you said, nine to five, mm -hmm. and nine, the average or the general nine to fives are your degrees, like your your accountings. Actually, mm -hmm. even your doctors, being a doctor, being a lawyer, mm -hmm. being you know, apart from if you want to go for a more uh, moral thing, being a pastor mm -hmm. and um, they don't really like musicians and whatever. Yeah. But if you want to go into anything creative, they look at you like, what? like you know, like you're a failure. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like, it's, it's, it's not even that, that you're a failure. It's that it's like, dude, this is a risk for your life. You know what I'm saying? You're playing games with your life. Mm -hmm. That's basically what you're doing. Yeah, you're playing yeah, games. Yeah. And you have to remember us here, um, the diaspora, our parents left a French speaking country yeah. to come to, you know, I give, I give all our parents props. If you know, props to the parents, they came to a foreign land where they don't speak the language, especially the ones that came in the ni early nineties. Yeah. We, the, yeah. Our, our parents came in like the so yeah, early nineties. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, it's like you, they don't speak the language. Um, not only do they not speak the language, but they, there's apartheid. They just finished now, now, but the they effects are still towards the during, end of apartheid. Yeah, 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 yeah. The effects are still there. Yeah. So props to all the parents who came, um, yeah. seeking for a better future for their yeah, children. For you guys, you know, we, we admire, you know, as much as we go into the arts and whatever, we really do appreciate all the things that you've done for yeah, us. Yeah. Like it's, it is a big thing, um, uh, coming here. First of all, the, the, the black people, the people of your kind who are oppressed already where you're arriving, mm -hmm. but you are seeking a better thing. Yeah. You don't speak the language, true, true. you know what yeah. I'm saying? And you're like different. like 11 languages to learn. <laughs> Dude, it's not, it's yeah. not, it's not a joke. Um, so you have to understand that they, their struggle was hectic. They had their own struggle. Mm -hmm. Not only are you in a different land, but now it's a different yeah. Culture. Yeah, different way of it's a life. different way of yeah, a different way of doing things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so now when we wanna, you know, they've had to learn how to do this, being in a foreign land thing, and then we come up and we're like, oh, I want to be an actor, I want to be a yeah. musician, I want to like, be a, a soccer yeah. player, I want to be. A, it's like, dude, we we pushed. We left our comfort to come to a place where we had to... That is, that is a hectic test of faith, by the way. Yeah. Where we had to come to this place, um, try to find a better future for you. And you now want to throw all of that away well, by yeah. taking more risks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. music is a risk. It is. Anything in the creative arts is a risk. You know what I'm saying? Especially it's not a guarantee. Africa 95. at this time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So... Um, YouTube is a risk in South Africa right dude, now. Dude, it's a big risk, yeah. but it's... I always look at that. remember when we started I spoke about perspective mm -hmm. everything that is a risk is also an opportunity true, true, you know true. what I'm saying everything everything that's bad um, has potential for you to go to somewhere good mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying just depending on on your perspective and how you the decision this, yeah. yeah the decisions you take after yeah, that yeah. that's why decisions are a big thing you can't just say oh no I'm just going yeah. to you know, no 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 it's decisions it took me about very, a year to get to yeah. this point so yeah, but I mean, you're here. That's the mm, big thing. Yeah. And props, like, like I, when when he first told me that I want to have you on my show, I was like, the first thing I said was, first of all, congratulations for taking yeah. the step to go out and actually create your own show. But so accounting, did accounting for two for two years. And obviously, you know, parents are now, they feel comfortable. It's like, oh, please, 
two years into accounting, third year, by then he's going to get a job and he's going to be stable and he can help out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, then now here I am, out here I am saying, I want to change degrees. Now yeah. we're starting again from scratch. Yeah. So um, by the time I decided I'm going to change re- degrees, um, uh, I was like, you know what? I don't want to put my parents through that. So thank God, you know, other people go into, into waitering or wait, working at retail. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was doing, I was modeling and I was doing, um, uh, like adverts and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, a couple, and voiceover work as well. Yeah, and voiceover yeah. work. And so um, <laughs> it was funny that the so I got introduced into modeling because I was more. I was. I, I loved acting. Presenting was here and there, and I was yeah. really good at it. And I loved being in front of crowds. But modeling, a friend of mine, literally, I was after varsity one day. He hit me up. He called me. He's like, "Yo, where are you?" I'm like, "At home." At that time, I just come back from class, and yeah. like, he's like, "Dude, come to this place." I'm like, "I don't feel like." Come, he's like, "Dude, they, they." Um, they're looking for tall people, tall, good-looking people. I'm like, so I'm not... They're like, yeah, they're paying you. I'm like, paying you to do what? <laughs> they're like, they're paying for yeah. you to just walk up and down. I was like, what? <laughs> like, they're that easy. Yeah. yeah. They're like, all you have to do is yeah. just come audition. I mean, it's just modeling, just come audition. Yeah. And so I was like, how much are they paying? And he gave me the figure. And I was like, okay, just to walk up and down. Okay, cool. And I went. I was... Um, they, back in those days, there weren't a lot of Congolese people modeling. Yeah. Uh, this we're talking... Uh, 2009. Nine. I was yeah, 2009. That's why. Yeah. So you see, the modeling world wasn't open to a lot of people. Yeah. To that, and Instagram. This, you know, nowadays we have a lot of people who can model and start their careers on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Back then, they, it wasn't Instagram. So you like it was, you, you were a legit model back yeah. back in those days. So, uh, 2010. So I went there and. I walked for the guy and they were like, dude, we love you. We love your look. We love your walk. Um, then they brought me, they were like, go upstairs. There was an agency upstairs. Go upstairs, tell them so-and-so sent you and they will sign you there and there. And that's what I did. I told them, okay, I just walked for this guy. He loves, he loves what I do. And, he, and they're like, okay, cool. Then they signed me there and there. Did my first... It was ice. No, this was G3. G3, 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 G3 yeah, models, G3 okay. Models, um, the Shine Studios. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, my first show was Africa Fashion International, and that was during the World Cup 2010. And I was walking... Dude, this is me now. First time walking, and I'm seeing David Beckham. Like, I'm walking runway, and I'm seeing David Beckham. And I'm, I'm seeing guy, um, Matthew Booth. I'm seeing... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the the Kobe's and stuff at the, yeah. at the after parties and yeah. the before parties, because this was around World Cup. Yeah. Um, they, they came down for that stuff. I'm seeing the Kobe's. I'm seeing... You know, these are people that we see on TV. And now I'm walking the runway, and these guys are, right, are watching and me. And looking at you. You know what I'm saying? It was just... It was just phenomenal. But all of that to say that, that God has just literally been good, you know? Yeah, and yeah. and um, so that, that modeling money uh, and the advert money was enough for me to pay my school fees. Oh, so I was like, cool. instead of so making well. my, my parents stress, you know, now at least I can pay my own school fees. Yeah. And then pay my own school fees. And at that time, the company also started working out. So... And it was a hassle. Like... Like it sounds now, I can speak about it like that. But like easy, looking, but yeah, you looking. Have to work. Hindsight, I had exams, and I had castings at the same day, at the, like on the same day. And then I'd have a, a business meeting with someone who'd tell me, "Dude, come now at two o'clock, because if you don't see me now, I'm traveling for two weeks, and we're not gonna be able to meet for two weeks. And, and then you're gonna miss, plan. you're gonna miss that that you know that deadline. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like now I have to juggle this thing. It's like okay, cool. Um, can we make our meeting at? 10 o'clock because I'm writing at 2 but you don't tell him you're writing at 2 he's like because I'm writing at 2 and I have this casting at like 12 so you go to the you go to the, you make sure you study I'd study all night I'd study the whole like the day before I study the whole day mm-hmm. all night till about um, 8 go shower and stuff like that um, 10 o'clock I go to the the, the meeting. meeting straight after that the casting, casting and straight the after exam. that I go write exams so people see the end results and they think I want that success, but no yeah, one sees but, <laughs> the tears, the dude, late nights, like, early mornings. It's it's crazy, yeah. But so so with with that with that, I spoke to my parents and I told them, listen, this is the situation. I want to change degrees, and it was you can imagine Congolese household. <coughs> oh, why do you want to change degrees? You're so close. You got one more year. Um, where are these things? I'm like, no, I'm gonna pay for my. I'm gonna help out, pay for my when um uh, my school fees. You know, the most part where, wherever I can. If I've got funds, I'll pay. And then you know, but parents trust you. You know, and also it's also a, a trust you that you trust. yeah it's a trust that you you cultivate through yeah. your life if they know that this one only tendencies this one always yeah. <laughs> behaves like yeah, this yeah. then it's harder for them to trust mm. but i hadn't i hadn't 
um proven mistrust yeah you know so i was, I was always trusted i always my word my yes was yes my no was no when i was focused on something they knew i was really focused yeah, yeah. on something when i was passionate about something yeah. they knew i was passionate mm-hmm. about it i wasn't about you know playing too many games yeah. or whatever as much as i liked fun but you know i was when you know it came I was to focused. work you worked yeah. yeah and and so they were you know it was still a proving thing so i was like okay cool we'll let you we'll let you do this thing and then i did it and then um you know one thing led to another mm-hmm. and i passed and i passed and you know and and from there now we're sitting to a point where when i finished when i got my degree and when i got my degrees economics and econometrics i already had my company so mm-hmm. i i didn't go Yes, the offers and whatever were enticing, but of course. I didn't go into that because yeah, yeah, I, was, I was already doing um, stuff. other stuff that, on the side. And I was trying to focus on these things. And even my parents were like, why don't you go work for this? Of course. But I'm pushing my, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm pushing my hustle. And then, um, uh, but it, it, was, it was nice. It sounds all rosy and everything. But then the company also started going sideways. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, we, had, we had a similar vision of where we were going because I started this with friends. But as we grew up, we had different ways of implementing all these things. Um, so uh, the company, you know, we went with the, the company, had its own situation. But then I still kept pushing in terms of my, my adverts, in terms of my mm. uh, voiceovers, uh, in terms of my presenting. Because I, I had been presenting in uh, my church youth. Um, shout out to a guy called Pete when I when I went to church. So this I used to go. Oak, Rema. Yeah, Rema. So so I used to go to MCC, so Congolese Church, yeah. back in the day. Started out, uh, you know, it was it's really cool. Groom me in terms of who I am. But sometimes when you're when you're uh, in a when you're in a, a a small church, it's hard for you to grow. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's yeah. Sometimes, 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 depending on who the depending on the, the people's vision in the church, it's only hard to grow because there are only so many things that you can, you can do. do yeah. You know, there's a head pastor, there's the pastors underneath him, there's the elders, there's the deacons, and um, then there's the the members, the volunteers. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But the the climb, the progression for you to go for for me to be like, I want to do announcements. I mean, that's someone's father is doing, the, the, via, via whoever is, has been doing announcements for, for 20 now, years now. To our, wants to come you know, here. you want to come here and the only place, the only thing you could do was maybe translating. But even there, they even feel like, mm, you know, don't don't this, papa yeah, this, yeah, yeah. pastel this, diacre I this, really has relate. been doing this for, <laughs> for 20 years now. Toi, jeune, tu veux. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's hard for them to do it. I, I give props to the, the music team because the music team always, they have a way of um, integrating, youth. Yeah, integrating the youth and the, the new up and comes. But for me it was at a space where i was getting frustrated but you don't want to get frustrated at church it's a weird space to be in you know what i'm saying frustrated in god's things and also you you're like am i being patient am i not being patient am i you know not listening to god god's timing you know there's all these things that play Uh with you (laughs) and then um when we when we moved to the north uh because at that time we're staying in we stayed in in, Berea, in Yovo. we stayed in bellevue we bellevue. stayed in berea when we first came but then we, we we only stayed in berea for a few years and we moved to to bellevue um that's when i was in kids because houghton is right there yeah. but even while i was in kids we moved to bedford view and then from bedford view we moved to the north mm-hmm. and then in the north we were too far it was almost like yeah it was almost like an hour driving to the family church but even when we're still in the family church my dad wanted us to learn english mm-hmm. so we'd spend maybe uh, three weeks at the family church and then maybe like one week we'd go to Rhema so we were always coming to Rhema like one week and then when we moved to the north uh, the family church was way too far you know um, and waking up early yeah, you know, it just it, became it was, yeah. and then Rhema was right there and started serving at Rhema we started um, uh, using our gifts at Rhema and, and God was you know he was faithful in, in seeing us grow from there there was a guy called Pete who I used to just attend church. This is just attend. Kosi, right? Yeah. I used to attend church and Pete. So first I used to go to church like when I I do kindergarten um kindergarten about Bible church. school. Kids church. I do kids church Sunday school. I do kids church Sunday school until I turned about uh uh, 11 or something then I started attending main service with my friends but then when I got to high school I had friends who went to Raymond they were telling me dude come to the youth come to the youth and then I went to the youth and I would just sit at the youth attend and then Pete and Kosi uh, he's, he's one of the like pastors mm-hmm. there at the youth and he was 
he would never let me sleep. Yeah. Never. Like from the day he, he met me, the day he saw me, he was just like he was behind you. Yeah, he yeah. was just like, come do announcements, come MC, come do announcements. I'm like, yeah, I think about it. No, come, come. Every single week he was hounding me. You also need people like that who are able yeah. some people are gifted like that to be able to see the gifting in people. And um I had amazing people within the church, the leaders, friends like 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 Gina and the, the pastors at, at yeah, the yeah. time. Um they were like, Okay, cool, come. They gave me a chance and I started emceeing like every single single Sunday yeah. which was good because it was a platform to grow mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying you know when you're faithful it's in the little platform. things keyword yeah it's a platform yeah it's a platform to grow but I was seeing it as as serving for God mm-hmm. I wasn't there for I actually even wasn't seeing it as a platform mm-hmm. to grow it was just for me it was just I was doing what I'm good at mm-hmm. You know, in the first week, maybe you mess up here and there. And it's, I mean, the first service, you mess up here and there, mm-hmm. you know, and, you, and then the second service, you're like, yo, I messed up here. So I have to be careful. Yeah. So you, you, you know, learn, you yeah. grow and you learn and mm-hmm. you get different challenges. You get Sundays where people are so excited when you're on stage. Yeah. And you get well, Sundays crowd, where people yeah. are just blinking their eyes at you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You get Sundays where I'm emceeing t- to like 2,000 people and you get Sundays where it's like, it's like 500 mm-hmm. people and you know, there's empty chairs and no one's laughing at the jokes yeah, you're making. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you learn how to maneuver through that. Um, but all of that to say to say that that it started from the little things mm-hmm. and now all of a sudden out of nowhere how quick does this presenter search happen yeah presenter quick. search um and all of that is just god's timing presenter yeah. search yeah. uh the amazing support friends and family coming behind you yeah. um and you don't realize how much support you have until you step in faith and do something yeah, yeah. you know Christy. and people people come and support you and all these people were, were there and and uh, out of knowing now I'm doing top billing and I feel yeah. like this is just you know it's just the beginning of it alright cool and I wanted to speak about your charity Just Love but I'm going to put the details in the description box below <laughs> he's got a charity Just Love um, yeah. I will talk about how you can get involved if you want to donate anything let me know I'll give it to him and yeah thank you so much for coming on to my show for the first time this is my yeah, first guest I feel like I was really, speaking way too much bro. Like, just, for me it was like, inspiring because I, I said I, I really want this show to inspire people and yeah. motivate people and you've done that so really thank you so much God bless you I'll keep supporting you yeah. I'll keep watching you I've subscribed to Top Billing as well so every time thank you're you, on man. there I'm always watching so yeah. thank you so much Harmony guys don't forget to like share subscribe catch my next <laughs> video it's gonna come soon and we'll see you around. Take care. God bless. Please, man. Thank you. Here with Rudy Samuels, conversations with Rudy Samuels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe. I don't know what else we do. We follow, right? Yeah, follow on Instagram. <laughs> and then share and let everybody know. Yeah. Um, it's going to be an awesome.